Hey YouTube, Aaron here with Random Reviews. Just giving you guys a quick, uh, I want to show you guys a quick update of my uh, phone lineup. I got a couple phones here. Uh, just do a you know real brief summary on them. Um, uh, you know, I've kind of had uh, the ZTE Z Max Pro for the most part, uh, which is this one here with the black with the gray trim. Um, but I have a couple other phones. I um, not necessarily. I added one new one to my lineup. Two of them are old older phones that uh i've been holding on to so i'll start off with the smallest the largest smallest being the uh, galaxy s6 um as you can guys can see here this actually was my wife's phone um and she dropped it a couple times and the screen shattered so i ended up you know um upgrading her to the um s7 uh we use uh cricket wireless as our carrier and um, they had a special, if you guys don't know, usually uh, the beginning of December, they'll, they've done it the last two years, they'll drop the price on the S, uh, whatever the Galaxy S line is, uh, to about half. And you can get it, it's only like a maybe two-day window it's open for. And I was looking uh, at it since uh, Black Friday and saw that uh, they did it this year, the beginning, the beginning of December, and last year the beginning of December as well. So kind of like a Cyber Monday type deal almost, or Cyber Week deal, but... Um, so I got her the S7. Uh, the only um, knock to it was you had to add a new, you had to add a new line of service, and um, so I ended up doing that. And uh, you know she don't use the S7. I don't use it much, but I, I haven't decided if I want to get rid of it yet. Um, I looked at pricing to get the screen fixed and replacing it myself, and they all you know $150 and higher. So uh, I don't want to pour that into this phone if I'm not going to use it that much. But this is really still a really good phone. Camera is amazing. You guys know Samsung, especially their uh, flagship lines, make the best phones. But as you can see with this screen, since it dropped, it kind of flickers when you cut it on and off. Sometimes it'll do that for a while. Uh, if you guys hear that notification. Uh, that's actually coming from my second phone here, which is I just got this less than two weeks ago. It's the Idol 4S uh, from Alcatel. Uh, this phone, and besides you guys heard the sound quality on this phone is amazing. It's so loud. You guys heard my, I have the, like the Mario theme anytime I get a text or email. Um, but with the Mario theme, uh, I was sitting in a restaurant earlier today eating lunch and had it facing up and I got a notification. It scared me and the other people in the restaurant because it was so loud. But this phone has amazing sound quality. I've seen other reviews on this phone and, you know, obviously it's not a... a you know, Galaxy S7 per se, but with comparing this to my wife's S7, it's not that far off. I mean, the processing power is pretty good. Um, get out of here, it's pretty snappy, it's smooth. Um, no issues with lag, really. Camera's, camera's really good on it, as you can see. Um, you know, has really, you know, detailed colors. Let me focus this screen. There we go. Um, you know, so it's pretty good, pretty you know, you got to see all the red, getting ready for the holidays. I want to say happy holidays to everybody as well. Merry Christmas. Um, Merry early Christmas. But uh, everything on this phone is pretty good. Um, video is good. So I like this phone. The sound, though, is amazing. You can't beat the sound. Um, but this is my newest phone. And I'll probably do a review on it uh, a little later. I know it's, you know, I just got it. It's, it's, it's um, you know, you hear the, the uh, one touch. 3 or 3T, you hear the ZT uh, Axon 7, those are amazing phones as well. I was able to get this, um, it's $400 normally when you buy, when you get it with the bundle from Alcatel. I found the online coupon, is if you put an idle 50 on the uh, coupon code, it will um, give you $50 off, so I got it for $350. Uh, but this is a uh, you know pretty good phone, fingerprint scan as you can see. Only knock I have on this, my knock is... It's a five and a half inch screen, but the buttons at the bottom take up, you know, whatever, half an inch or so. So that takes away precious real estate uh, from the screen. I'd rather the buttons be on the bottom here and I can have all of the screen. Um, but this, again, is a really good phone. And I like it. I'll do a review on that one later. I've done a review on this. ZTE Z Max Pro still, to me, the best phone for the, for the value. Um, the one, what I'm recording on now actually was my first ZTE Z Max Pro. You guys remember I did a video on the screen shattering, so I sent it in to get it fixed. They wanted to charge a hundred bucks. I say, nah, you know, I just, um, I ended up getting a new one. Um, but this is, uh, an amazing phone. Um, fingerprint scanners, really good and responsive. Um, the camera is pretty good, uh, especially in good light. 
The processing is pretty good. It's really no, I haven't had really any issues with lagging. Everything about this phone to me is good. Really good dis uh, display. Uh, really good. Pretty good sound system. It's not obviously the Alcatel sound, but it's pretty good on the sound as well. But it has a USB Type C charging uh, and fast charging as well. So it, it takes you know 45 minutes to an hour. I'm probably topped up on this, um, depending on how low I was. But really good phone and um, display everything's good this is really uh, to me again the best value for the buck um, last but not least I have this taking it back a little bit this is a Nokia Lumia 1520 I don't know if you guys ever had this phone before anybody who have this is a Windows phone but to me if this was an Android phone this phone was released in I believe 2013 but if this was an Android phone this would be hands down one of the best even today the camera on this phone is amazing. Um, 21, I believe, 21 megapixels. The screen on this phone is amazing. Um, it's 1080p. It don't give you the 4K. Obviously, when it came out a couple years ago, 4K wasn't available on smartphones yet, or it was still new, one of the two. But this was the flagship for Nokia at the time. It's a 6-inch um, screen, and comparing it to the uh, Z Max Pro, you see the screen sizes are about the same. This phone's a little wider. But um, this is, uh, you know, the screen on this is amazing, really bright and clear. You know, processing is pretty sharp. Um, you know, everything about this phone is great. The only thing is the software, the, um, the uh, it being a Windows phone. I actually had this as my daily driver for about a month. And the fact that I, you know, I couldn't use, um, and it's starting to glitch on me now, but I couldn't use the, um, the, um, the apps that I needed to because they're not compatible on Windows. The Windows App Store was great. I would have kept this as my daily driver. This phone is just that great. Um, and I know they had a Project Astoria um, thing going on at Windows where they were going to try to allow Android apps to be used on this phone. But I guess that failed earlier this year. But but uh, again, if this was an Android phone, this would be the best phone for the dollar. So I'm sorry, the best uh, one of the best devices out there. This to me is the best phone for the dollar with what it offers and what's out there. I mean, if you pour it over the metros, you get $60 off. So I, I believe that's still going on. At least, at least it was at the time when I got it. And uh, so you get the phone for 40 bucks with what it offers. You can't beat that anywhere. So again, this is my daily driver here. The Idle 4S. This is my, I have a second line since I had to open up the line with my wife's S7. And I use this more as my business phone. Uh, where I get my business calls, emails, everything on it. As you heard, that's a Mario thing. That's from here. This thing is really loud, super loud. Um, again, in my S6. So just want to give you guys a quick look at what's in my lineup. If you have any questions, comments, uh, or leave it in the comments section, and I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. Uh, I, lo I love the Incipio cases, too. These are all Incipio cases. Three of them are dual pro cases, and this one's just a regular Incipio case. But... Um, it gives me, you know, good protection and everything for the phone. So, again, any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Aaron, random reviews, and I am out.